All right, who's ready for episode six of Xenoverse? So let's do it, guys. All right, quick team recap for the people, the people. Anyone new to the channel, welcome in. My name is Dr. Cloud, and we've been playing this fan-made Pokemon game for the last, like, two weeks, basically. I think it's two weeks. Maybe it's a week and a half. Anyways, team recap. We got Lily the Oddish uh, with Mega Drain Growth Acid and Attract. We got Fisher the Sandy Gast with Absorb, Astonish, Sandtomb, and Harden. We just lost this awesome looking Elekid in the last episode. If you want to check that out, it'll be, you know, in the playlist and also probably recommended to you. But anyways, you should go check that out if you missed it. We got Pinhead the Beedra with Poison Sting, Fury Attack, Harden, and String Shot. We just got Neon the Gastly in the last episode with Lick, Confusory, Hypnosis, and Mean Look. And we also caught Wave of the Grimer in the last episode with Pound, Poison Gas, Harden, and Mud Slap. All right. <clears throat> what item are you holding? That's right, you had a black belt. All right, so we are finally ready to check out Polaris Town in this episode. And if you guys do enjoy what we're doing here, make sure you hit that like button. Oi, Cloud, come here. It seems this kid is looking for help. He asked me, but I told... But as I told you, I'm a bit busy at the moment. Could you please take care of it? I know for sure you'll make a great job. You'll make a great job. Yep, that's how I'd say it too. <laughs> Looks like he's holding a snowball that he like colored in red or used like um, the snow cone stuff to like color it in. <sighs> you, you are Cloud, aren't you? Mr. Texero. Te Taraxo, maybe? Taraxo? Let's go with Taraxo. Said you would help me. Is that right? I have. Wait, I was having a snowball fight with my. Kikalu? In the Zero Cave when two bad guys took it away with force. Please, Cloud, find my Hikalu and bring it back safe and sound. I'm a little sad I didn't get that Lapras, though. There was a Lapras I, like, healed in the last episode, and I thought I was going to get it on my team, but I didn't, and then I was sad. And I also missed a huge portion of that island that I thought would have been cool. The cold is the best for, wait, for tempering both the body and the mind, but it's freezing outside. I feel that. I can have your Pokemon remember any move they forget. Uh, maybe. We have some new mons that like okay so the only the only ones you're able like i don't think it's actually worth here in polaris town the pokemon center is the only warm place jeez that sounds terrible cold broke my laptop luckily there's texero here i feel like i said it differently each time but like i can't Words are hard. I can't, like, stay on one thing because I keep reading it differently each time I look at it. Um, really wanted to evolve my Hikalu, but unfortunately I never found an Ice Stump. Ooh, okay. That's good knowledge for me. Uh, I never deposited my Elekid. Hold on. Apparently I just don't like fire types because I keep killing my fire types. There's my Trishot and my, uh, 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 Elekid. And they're both, like, new Pokemon in this game, which makes it really sad. It's like, I'm basically using a bunch of Kanto Pokemon right now, aren't I? Yeah, literally everything's from Kanto except for my Sandy Gas. That's wild. Up here, nobody builds anything anymore. A construction site would be a dream. Poor grandpa, old age made him really groggy. Okay. There's not a lot to this town, is there? I have my own methods to educate my son. Okay. That helped me. Um, Ridding... R Raindingo uh, will come for me if I don't do my home. Oh man, okay. The town is really sparsely populated, but I understand not everyone likes the cold. I hate the cold. I hate it so much. I'm just waiting to be able to move to a warmer climate. By now, the bicycle is outdated since 
there's around the brand new poke board okay so it's like a hoverboard then that's what it looks like uh that's obviously where i'm gonna go to get that kid's uh pokemon back healing healing go or something like that it's, it sounds something like that when i was young i was a promising ice type pokemon trainer you know that's cool what happened in these pictures, Grandma fights alongside this man. I wonder who he is. Probably your grandpa. That would be my guess. Oh, or are they trying to be like, it's like a wolf freak or someone like that. The bridge is frozen and slippery. Cool. Okay, I see there's like a TM or something in their backyard. I have to have cut though, I think, or the gem for cut. While I was doing my daily run, I found this berry. Hey, let's go. We take those. Yay, I have an entire bedroom to me finally. Okay. My son will leave soon for college. I'm gonna miss him so much. This is a thing that's always a problem in Pokemon games is there's only one room and the kids always have it. And there's nowhere for the parents to sleep except for like the fridge in the kitchen. My adventure at Neutron City's campus is starting soon. Ooh, I see. Dang it. Ooh, let's go, Quick Ball. I love Quick Balls. Okay, I can't do anything with that. What about the Wiggly Tough? Nope, Wiggly Tough has nothing. Alright, Explorer Guy. I turned the Zero Cave inside out and I only got this bad cold. A chew. I'd better look. For ancient treasures in Fort Belt Town. Okay. Seemed relevant. Ice seal, nice. Let's go. I'm familiar with ice puzzles. I know how to do them. Until I come up on this next ice puzzle and I'm just gonna like falter super hard. Gotcha. Ice seal. All right, those were not very hard ice puzzles. Although, seeing as I know their ice types, maybe I switch to Beedrill? I really need Neon and Wave to be ready for fighting, honestly. Okay, new encounter. Okay, so this is a reindeer. And I'm pretty sure it's a ball form as a rain, rain and go. It kind of looks like a fairy type, so I don't want to poison sting it. And I'm also like seven levels above it. So maybe I switch out to Neon and see if I can uh, put it to sleep. Hey, yes, it is a fairy. I was right. Oh, nope, wrong button. Uh, Alright, let's just go for the Confuse Ray for now, see if it'll damage itself a little bit while I try to land Hypnosis. Nice. Oh, okay. Or we have Vital Spirit. Alright, uh, then I guess we're just throwing balls at this thing. If it's a nice fairy, like, I think that's a really nice typing to add to my team right now. Hey, let's go, Reindeer. I spelled deer like as you're writing the letter. Oh, it's pure fairy, okay. Uh, it judges the behavior of other Pokemon, then marks them with tags. Okay. It rewards um, with a gift those who have been nice. The, oh, man. Just the, like, the sentence structure is what's getting me on a lot of these things. Like, I'm already bad at reading aloud, and then, like, it's doing this to me. I'm trying to remember what the name of that elf is on the old Claymation Reindeer movies. Is it... is it Harvey? Ah, shoot, hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pull it up. Uh, what is the name of the dentist... Elf in Rudolph. Okay. 
Hermie. Hermes is his name. That's a good name for this. Hermie. I feel like I spelled it Hermery. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I feel like I spelled it wrong. Yeah, I did. I put I put an extra R in there. Hold on. Beep. Hermie. There we go. Uh, got to hit enter. Enter. And out of the party. Hey, look at that though. Team of six again. Add in Hermie. It's got vital spirit. Uh, it's got good defensive IVs, but I don't know if it's a defensive mon. It's got fairy. It's got present. That's fun. All right. I mean. That's pretty cool. Got a new Pokemon. Oh, I just kind of assumed he was gonna fight me. I could have gotten Onyx. I am pretty glad. I'm pretty happy with Hermie, to be honest. Uh, I'm used to es I'm used to escorting trainers out of at, wait, escorting out the trainers wandering through dungeon. My brothers are. Scattered all over the region, I'm sure it won't be hard for you to find us. You need to go back to entrance to ask me, and I'll take you in the blink of an eye. Okay. That's one thing I feel like I haven't done a lot of, is there's supposed to be, like, uh, Pokemon dens all around the region, and I don't think I've found a single one. Alright, let's check out what he's talking about. Ooh, hello. Uh, Blingrim? Very interesting, like, design. Wait, Cloud. Ah, uh, yeah. My job is nothing but research on the Pokemon in this cave. And you? Have you helped that kid yet? Okay, so I have to help the kid before I can, like, go that way. Boy, there are a lot of Pokemon in here. Might use a repel. <sighs> Oh, um, side thing. So, apparently my, um, my most recent, well, I guess my first short's been, like, popping off. Like, it's gotten quite a few views. Hey, let's go. It's like, uh, the, mm, like, I found a Tapu, uh, Lele Shiny, like, on the first, um, okay. Uh, on my first try. This is where it gets me, isn't it? Okay, here we go, here we go. Min? This stupid Ikalu will make us rich. We're gonna buy a whole candy shop with the ransom money. Ooh, that's a very cool looking mod, I like that. Hey you, stay out of our business. We're not gonna share this money with you. Is this a double battle? Oh, hello. One of them has six mons. Min and Mun. Okay. Um, I'm not fond of this. Um, go Poison Sting and Astonish on the Drowsy, because I think that side's the one that only has two. And that thing is home clawing. That is really bad. We take that, we take that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so Beedrill will 100% take out the Drowsy right now. Uh, I need to hit this thing with something, but I don't know what typing it is. Maybe Steel? Let me go Sandtoom on it? Alright, there's the Drowsy down. Okay, it's on clawing again. Uh, it makes me so nervous. Yes! Yeah, you stupid thing. Oh. Apparently their Pokemon that they said were here was wrong. They said, like, there was multiple. 
Seems like they only each have one. Which I mean, I much rather. I feel like having them having six was gonna be ridiculous at this point in the game. Wait, what are you trying to learn? Sunspore. I, I do like Sunspore better. I think I'm gonna go and give it to you. I like a track, but I don't think it's actually worth it. I think it's gonna be better to me as learning the powders. Ooh, learn payback. Heck yeah. Uh, give it a mean look. You could have said you were this strong. I really thought it showed more Pokeballs. Oh, oh, I get it. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. It was showing mine versus theirs. Got it. Min, retreat. Aw. Uh, let's get back to its rightful owner, and awesome, it just like auto jumps me up. You did it, Cloud! You saved my Hickaloo! Buddy, I'll never let anyone take you away, I promise. <sighs> it's where they didn't capitalize, Mr. <clears throat> Cloud, Mr. Texario Terak. Mr. T told me to give you this as a secret reward. Uh, Presumum H, I think is what it is. Persum, oh, man, English. Persium, per, Persum, um, H, Persum. Man, I feel like you can say words so differently. I didn't get what he said, but he was talking about smashing rocks. Oh, okay. It may be, uh, may it be the one you're wearing? Well, I'm gonna go play a Tickaloo. Thanks for everything. Okay, cool. So that's the Rock Smash TM. That would help me way more. Alright, this is that guy's house. Which I might go talk to him. He appears to be done with research now. I don't know if I have to, like, equip the crystal to use it or the gem or whatever. Let's see. HM service. Okay, so Hollow Trap Inch. I am going to save real quick because I have not saved and I have already recorded another whole episode, so I really don't want to lose my progress. Alright, uh, I think it was a tree that was in this other person's house over here, so I can't get to it still, but I want to be sure. Oh, it is a rock. Oh, but it's a strength rock. I see, I see you. I'm also kind of curious what rocks, like, I don't know if I've seen any yet, to be honest. Uh, let me check out what he has to say. Oh, Cloud, it seems you've worked things out with Hickaloo, huh? So, have you received the Percy, um, H, have you? That H mineral will let you smash rocks on your path with a hollow trap inch. Now you can finally go beyond the zero cave. Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. I also really feel like I should stop leading Beedrill, because, like, Beedrill's just not good. But I won't. Because I don't have other Pokemon to replace him yet. I feel like that's a big thing. Like, my... My Elekid was a huge part of my team. And I relied on him a lot. Jeez. I really think I'm gonna just activate a ooh, what's it called? Yeah My brain a repel. Seriously, my brain is just it's every time I like am having a nice flow of sentence, like it's just like that last word just gone. And I I, I know it's because like I try to think too far ahead to my next sentence. Wow. There's a single rock just there. Wow. Okay, this is still not a new area. I don't even think this is necessary to break, but I will. I mean, why not? I just got access to breaking rocks. 
Okay, it's kind of interesting. All right, new route, new encounter. I'm gonna throw Lily out front so we can use Stun Spore. Oh, right, I have Rappel up. I was like, why am I not getting an encounter here? What's going on? I would have liked something else. Bergmite's just not quite good enough. I also feel like if I Mega Drain, I'm gonna knock this thing out. Yep, I 100% would have knocked that thing out. Did it say it's Defense Rose? Does it have, um... No, okay, use a move, that did it. I thought it had, like, stamina, and I was like, ooh, okay, stamina could be interesting. But no, it's got Ice Body, which is fine, I guess. This thing's actually likely to come on the team, just so I don't have a bunch of poison types on the team. It blocks opponent's attack with the ice that shields its body. It uses cold air to repair any cracks with new ice. That's cool. Um, let's see. Little tiny iceberg. Uh, I don't want igloo. Um... Let's see if I can just name you Snow Day. That's fun. I like that. Hi, Snow Day. Oh, you can't trade out Pokemon. Okay, that's not quite as fun. Um, let me see if I can use the Pokemon transfer. Nope. Oh, that's how it worked, but I guess not. Fisher, maybe? Alright. I don't know, it's a huh. Hmm, maybe that was not the choice. I think I just don't like the position that I'm in right now, because I'm missing, like, Pokemon, really. Like, I don't have, like, a strong enough, like, team to really work around a lot of situations. Like these ice types right now, I don't really have something for them. More like, this is your best thing you got, so you just gotta work with it. So I want something like, super effective, and that Elekid would've just blown through everything here. Because he had both, you know, fire and, uh, throwing on Hickaloo right now. Um... He had both fire and fighting type moves, which really takes care of like a lot of ice types, so you're in a pretty good spot. Oh, Mega Drain. Oh! Oh, Koi Frosted Turn 1, okay, thank you. I was really gonna say like, oh, okay, that's, that's fun, thanks, 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 thanks. Thanks for freezing me turn one. I have a lot of trouble with getting frozen turn one in games. In Radical Red, I got frozen turn one um, two times in the same battle. Nice Neon. Hermy, gaining them levels. Okay, um, depending on how many more trainers I have to fight, I might have to use some potions. And heal up a lily. I really feel like I want I want to use Pinhead because Pinhead has like decent stats, but the problem is Pinhead needs a like a bug type move or something that is good damage. Because Pinhead has my best stats actually. That ghastly is actually like really good. You just don't have anything to really use your stats either. Man, that sucks. I also think I might. I'm gonna go ahead and teach a track to reindeer. I think that makes sense. Alright, I got Pinhead for this fight. Let's just go for it. 
I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Where's that song, you know? Get that song with Spongebob. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Yup. Uh, we're gonna do a clean swatch out. Switch out into Fisher here. Just take the Rock Titan that it'll probably use. Or Mud Sport. Whatever. I'm pretty sure that every single Pokemon I've seen out of these trainers, that the X species Elekid could have beaten like really easy. I think that said a Yamin? I think it did. Oh, it did. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let me go for the Absorb again, I guess. I don't know if this thing can still touch me at all. I know I fought on them, like, earlier in the game, and they could not hurt me at all. Because they only had, like, Pound and Arm Thrust. I'm curious if they learned a Dark-type move by now. Kinda doubt it. Although it's been leering me and... Focus energy and energying. So, I mean, it killed itself at this point. But I'm not worried about that anymore. Hey, let's go Herm. Ooh, Hermia's learning Draining Kiss. Um, I don't know if you're physical or not, but go ahead and forget present. This Draining Kiss is... Uh, if it's special, then I guess it's probably a special mod, because it also has Fairy Wind. Yeah. It just has bad uh, IVs for it. That's yeah, fine. You'll be fine, Hermie. Hermie's such a good name for that thing. I love it. Will you heal me? Blizzard must have frozen your Pokemon. Look at those icicles under your nose. Joke aside, feel free to make yourself at home. Have a seat by the fireplace and rest as much as you want. Oh, nice. I thought I was going to have to just rest in his bed because it was the same color as um, the one on the ship. Oh, wait, hold on. There was an item in his house. A super potion? What is the point of smashing this rock here? Can I, like, get an encounter? No. Interesting. Hmm. Definitely ran in front of him, but it's fine, it's fine. I want to get to like a good stopping point, but I don't know how long this route is either. And I feel like since they have a healer on here, it's probably a decent length. Let's go Poison Sting. Okay, that did not go as well as I wanted it to. Plus side, you do not have the stats. Ooh, let's go crit. <sighs> His tackle actually did a lot more damage, so I'm guessing Powder Snow is a special move. And he crit me right back. Alright. Um, if I know he's going to go into Tackle, then I can predict him and go into Fisher. Let's go for that. See if we can get this pro play on this little bird mite. Nope, sure can't. Um, yeah, if he hits me with another one, I faint, so... Ooh, you have bad defenses, you have not so good. Uh, you might be my best bet. Is this thing male? Nope, female. Um, Castle can put them to sleep, but he won't take the hit. What is... What's Beedrill's? Okay, Beedrill's actually, I think, my most defensive mod. I'm gonna go Lily, though. At least I can heal back the same way he can. Because I probably outspeed this thing. Well, I would. If I didn't keep getting frozen. Man, this game loves to freeze me. Oh, man.
I'm just gonna have to, like, try to heal it, like... The other issue... Oh, uh, no, it's P drop, too. I don't think I outspeed now, either. But I guess I know that if I go ahead and use a super potion now... Man, this weakness is not fun. Okay. All that mattered was that if he froze me right there. So now that even if he is faster than me, it won't matter. I'm hopeful. Hopeful. He said 16 there. And I one-shot him, so it's fine. Okay, that was getting a little bit too close for my liking. Oh, Fisher's on a Mega Drain? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, sure, I can see Disable being a helpful move. Get over Harden. I think I'm just gonna have to throw out Lily, like, and just let Lily be, like, a higher level right now. Because I need someone who's gonna be able to take those hits a little bit better than what like my Beedrill is doing, because he can't deal with the damage at the same level. I'm already- I've been on Route 3 the whole time, so like I know this isn't a new route. I said it like differently, both times I said it there, I said Route and Route. But yeah. I know that's how it is. Not half sturdy in this game, interesting. Oh cool, that's your only Pokemon. There appears to be someone in this. Okay. Um Snooper. Okay, sure. Why not? Oh boy, you are level 15. I do not like that. The last one's level 13 and I had trouble with it. Please make a drain just one shot. Nope. Don't freeze, don't freeze, please don't freeze, please don't freeze, please don't freeze, please don't freeze. Cool, thank you. And we're good. I'll get most of my health back right here, and we're good. I'm just gonna make this episode a little bit longer so I can get to the next um, town or whatever, because I'm pretty sure I'm like getting close to it. Mm. I don't know what's going on over here. I can see that there's an item right here, though. Oh, okay. Static rock smash encounter. Um... Do I count static rock smash encounter? I think I'm gonna say no and just run from it. It just doesn't really feel like something I need that much. There's a thing right there and I want to do it right now. Oh, interesting, your static bird might too. I already have a bird might anyway, so it'd be similar to the sandy gas situation, where like I'm sure they're not on every one of them. And I could probably catch one, but I also already have it, so I don't like need to do that. Maybe if I had caught a different mon right here, then I might just let it go. Okay, in reality, how much longer is this route? Like I'm kind of going out of my way to fight these guys at the same time though. Oh my. Um, that literally looks like a fish kite. I'm curious, is it, is it a flying type too? Ooh, it is a flying type. That's fun. But it only does have splash, which is kind of sad. What's next? Oh, another one. Okay, well, I guess since I know they're only using Splash, I could try to get experience for someone else. Uh, maybe I go... Neon. Neon is involved to 25, so like this one's kind of pushing it a little bit.
Thick. Yeah, it seems like I'm doing fine. Especially if you're just gonna splash a whole bunch. And we're not mad. Like, please just keep splashing. Give me this free experience right now. Man, didn't get hit by his uh, paralysis a single time either. It really feels like in this game they lowered those percentages. Like, you don't get your paralysis much, you don't get, like, the attraction thing as much. You don't get, uh, well, you do get frozen more often. Um, man. You know, this actually does seem like a good spot to end. Uh, I'm gonna fight this last train over here, because it's gonna bother me if I don't. Hold on. Way to go, Trap Inch. You're doing great. Okay, I'm getting, I'm guessing, another Rog and Roll. Yo, dude. The other thing is, like, Rog and Roll actually would have been really helpful for me, because, like, a Rock type on the team would have really helped, like, against Ice types, and it doesn't have the weakness that a Ground type does, so it's because it's pure Rock. I don't know, though, like, because, like, in a lot of games, you count that kind of thing, but, like, I don't know, I wasn't feeling this game. I feel like this game's gonna have a lot of encounters and, like, static mon that you pick up. So I feel like I don't really need it. Alright, well, at least I know this thing's, like, just a fairy type now, so Ask will one-shot it. Let's go, Lily. Bro, I'm gonna have a Gloom in no time. There we go. There's the move I wanted. It's the Leap Powder. That was Neon getting to 16. No, I bet it was like Fisher or Pinhead. And you just have another Reindeer. I feel like Reindeer probably evolved at a fairly early level, considering that in the town previously they mentioned its evolution, like Reindingo. Unless I just read that wrong. But I doubt it. Alright, that's going to be it for the episode, though. Um, in the next one, we will try to get through Route 4. And on the next town, which I assume is going to be a gym city. So be hyped for that next episode to come out on Thursday, I believe, if I have my math correct. And I'll see you guys then for that gym battle. Bye, guys.